in Friends Over Politics news, submitted by Remember to Hydrate. Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres defends her friendship with George W. Bush. I thought, oh, I saw this. Yeah, I thought this was so cool. Yeah. Everyone's Ellen's been canceled. She's homies with them? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and she she's like, yeah. So I'll show you. You guys. should be friends with You fool him once. <laughs> I feel fool him time. Well, what was it saying in Tennessee? Or, or, or Texas. He can't really remember. Yeah, he can't remember. I don't I, I got yeah, his back. Is it the Tennessee or back. Texas? Yeah, 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 one of those. Yeah, so Ellen DeGeneres oh, did this nice. monologue thing on her show after she attended a Cowboys Packers game over the weekend because it there were Packers images won. there were <laughs> <laughs> there were photos of Ellen sitting next to George W. George W. George W. And so she ended up talking about it, defending it. So she, this is she got canceled for being crazy. his friend. This is what it is. That's dope. <laughs> Yeah, the box seats, baby. Oh, Lord. George W. That's oh. tight. During the game, they showed a shot of George and me laughing together. And uh, so people were upset. They thought, why is a gay Hollywood liberal sitting next to a conservative Republican president? Didn't even notice I'm holding the brand new iPhone 11. And, uh, <laughs> That's funny. But a lot of people were mad, and they did what people do when they're mad. They tweet, and uh, but here's one tweet that I loved. This uh, person says, Ellen and George Bush together makes me have faith in America again. That's nice tight. I'm friends with George Bush. In fact, I'm friends with a lot of people who don't share the same beliefs that I have. We're all different, and I think that we've forgotten that that's okay, that we're all different. For instance, I wish people wouldn't wear fur. I don't like it, but but I'm friends with people who wear fur. And I, I'm friends with people who are furry, as a matter of fact. I have <laughs> friends who should tweeze more. And I, I have, but just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean be kind to everyone. Doesn't matter. That's awesome. Yeah. She's so girl. She's so cool. Yeah. So. <sighs> she got canceled again after was, saying that, didn't she? It was. Yeah, that iPhone 11 though. Yeah, that's a tight. It's that. scary as fuck. Get, don't, get those cameras away from me. I know, there's like too many cameras. <laughs> so even after that, her defending it, people oh, no. are still mm -hmm. like, nah. For real? But you can't be friends with him. Well, is that oh, the main man. reason why? Is because he's saying? a conservative president? No. Because he's so, racist. No. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> so. Homophobic or whatever. Cause the, yeah, keep going. Go ahead, Tiff. Go, Tiff, what like is Tiff it? has the answers, but I'm not sure. Right? No. Okay, so it's mainly because, okay, so for example, Mark Ruffalo tweeted this out. He said, Mark Ruffalo. Sorry, until George W. Bush is brought to justice for the crimes of the Iraq war, including American-led torture, Iraqi deaths and displacement, and the deep scars emotional and, and otherwise yeah, inflicted on our sense. military that served his folly, folly. He, we can't even begin to talk about kindness. So mm. that's like one perspective. Another point that a lot of people are bringing up is how Ellen DeGeneres, in their eyes, is a hypocrite because she has banned multiple people from from appearing on her show because they didn't align with her mm. beliefs. So it's like about, who? Do um, you know? Like for example, Caitlyn Jenner was one of them where she said some stuff in the past and then she banned her, but then eventually she ended up going on her show, but. There's a there's a list of people I didn't I didn't save that list because I didn't think it was super yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like needed to dive deep into it. But a lot of people are saying like, well that's you're being a hypocrite and also he has war crimes he needs to Yeah, I thought that's more the reason why people hated George W. Bush than anything is yeah. his proxy war, his fake war, his his whole family and company getting rich off of the oil that they stole and then all the people that had to die for it. Mm -hmm. I don't really know if it's his ideals or anything about gay or whatever. I, I think that's what most people don't like him for, mm -hmm. that don't like him, right? And and um, so, it, I don't know, it's just kind of weird that, I like her message, it is true because overall, if someone has conflicting views from you, it's different. 
But then I think in this particular case, he had a, he had a really bad rep because it wasn't just like a president that said weird shit. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know how to, I don't know. Yeah, so even people who have supported Ellen after she came out with this saying like, hey, like one example is uh, Kristen Bell. She posted it on her, on her Instagram account and she wrote, she's my queen and like doing a whole bunch of emojis and she even took that down oh, because dang. people were like... She didn't even at Ellen? <laughs> what do you mean? She didn't even at her in the twi tweet? No, yeah, on her Instagram. So Kristen Bell took it down because people were upset that Kristen Bell supported Ellen defending the friendship. Mm. And then um, and then people were saying like, oh, this reeks of privilege to Reese Witherspoon who tweeted, thank you for this important reminder, Ellen. So people are even upset at other people like yeah. coming into like, the yeah. conversation. Yeah, I think where I, where I saw this clip was actually on Anthony Robbins' uh, Instagram. Yeah. Or Tony Robbins. Oh, oh. Same. I was Sorry. gonna say Tony. Yeah, Tony Robbins. <laughs> you mean Tony? I, I, yeah. The homie Our Tony. friend. <laughs> you know Anthony. Anthony Robbins. <laughs> so what was he saying? He just posted that clip and then he did a cool I like caption. her message he did a though. Caption it's it's about true. Message. That's a cool yeah. message. Because right now we right. do need that. Like conservatives yeah. and, and liberals are so right. yeah, so far right. apart and, and I mean just it there's it is cancel culture, right? It's like, oh you don't believe what I believe in, you're the devil. Fuck you. Yeah, I agree too. Like when I was saying that, I'm like, yeah, that's dope. You know, be friends with different views. But then I guess there is a line that a lot of people feel like, well, that mm -hmm. just crosses the line. Like this person is a horrible person that yeah. doesn't deserve any any form of kindness. I and that's how a lot of people felt strongly about it. Yeah, I mean, like ultimately, I don't really know if this is true, but I think it is kind of common knowledge, or there's a huge suspicion that him and Cheney made a fuck ton of money off of the war. And so that to me is like, is was America your priority or was your company? pockets? Yeah, was Halliburton and 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 um, you know Texaco or whatever uh, your was were they the priorities or was America your priority? So I don't know like how to make sense of all of that. If he just had different ideas, to me that's different. Yeah, completely. But then the fact that. I feel that people had to die unnecessarily for profit. That's where I go, oh man, I don't feel good about this, really. They're saying that, um, so since, since Bush launched the war on terror in 2001, it has since killed around 250,000 civilians in those three countries of Iraq, Afghanistan. And those numbers are fabricated because it's way bigger than that. Because those well, this is according numbers. to a Brown University study in 2018. Right, but they're using statistics based off of the military. But what the military does is when they do drone strikes or kills, they are associates of terrorists, even though if it's a mistake and it killed a civilian. So those numbers, it's way bigger. Yeah, because they're saying here, like, uh, there have been more than 100 Pakistani children killed by 51 CIA drone oh. strikes by Bush since or between 2004 and the start of 2009. Like that's one yeah. statistic here. And so like I might I might get canceled for this, but I also think that um, you know, if you go with Republican presidents, our president right now, Trump hasn't even done anything close to what uh, George W. Bush did as far as war goes, right? Or like killing goes and all that stuff. So I don't know, like it's hard for me to, if I saw Ellen with, with Donald Trump, I wouldn't, I, I think that would be... He could stomach that his, a little bit more. Yeah, because it's like, it's like, uh, yeah, he is a conservative and he says misogynistic things, but you know what? I'm cool. We have different ideas. Weren't there drone strikes during the Obama administration? There's, yeah, there's there's drone strikes all throughout. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's literally not been, you know, it's not, it's not a mystery. It's, even now, you know, it's happening. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a continuation of, you know, the war on terror. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. I had a friend who, like a group of friends, and two of them were really close. And like, I know them, one really well, and then the other one, he always had problems with drugs and alcohol. And he was still my friend, I would consider him my friend, but I wasn't as close as other people were in our group. And he went on to continue like having problems with alcohol, and drugs and he got in a car and killed another person mm. as a drunk driving. Yeah. And so the friend who is I'm closer with, but is really close with him, she kind of came out and said, you know, my friend did this really awful thing, but 
I know he, like he's not a good person, but he's still my friend and he's still alive, thankfully. And I know he deserves, like he's in jail now. Um, she's like, I know he deserves this and he's gonna like pay for what he did, but I can't just abandon him because of something so terrible that he did. Like I'm not close enough with him to like really take that stance because it's confusing for me. I always felt weird about our friendship because he would like be drinking around me and I wouldn't know how to act. Whereas she kind of can relate a little bit more. But I thought that was cool of her to take someone who did something like despicable and still show some compassion and like let them know that even though you are a shitty person, I'm still there for you. Cause I don't think a shitty person can ever like come around to changing unless they have That's some true. sort of support, yeah. you know? That is loyalty and I can respect that. Cause it's like uh, if you had friends who were like former mob guys or whatever, and then you know they or some guys maybe are still in it and doing the dirt, and you might have changed, mm -hmm. but you still if they're still your friends, you might pick them over strangers. Yeah. So in this case, it might be that like they might be friends, and she's like, George, you gotta stop fucking doing that shit, you know? <laughs> she goes, I can't. You I gotta like stop oil. killing two hundred fifty thousand <laughs> yeah. people. And he's yeah. like, I can't. I got oil. Well, I like might oil. Be even ignorant to all the stuff that he's right, because like yeah. So I we don't, don't know. We really yeah. don't know. Or I'm like, I agree with the. She's sentiment, in it. Or wait, what'd you say? Illuminati. Oh, I said conspiracy theory. She's like involved in it. Oh. Because they're all making money well, from it. that shit I could talk about forever. And I kind of okay. see though how like m maybe she does have a grander plan of trying to change things in politics. And it's like maybe she feels like that's not going to happen unless I'm there having these conversations and showing what I can fight for or awesome. giving a different perspective. That's I true. I think that's true when all these people, when Trump got into office and all these politicians just like abandoned ship, not all of them, but a lot of them abandoned ship, like I don't want to work with this guy. The people who stepped up and realized like, I don't want to work with this guy, but I need to be there because it's my job and like my duty as a public servant. I think that's something where it's like, you do have to create friendships with people who are in power, regardless of how you may feel about them. Oh yeah, yeah. that's the more effective way, actually. Like, yeah, we gotta keep the, the shit closer moving. you are to the king, even if you don't like them, the more influence you have over that mm -hmm. king. So, I mean, you could either do that or, or lose that power and that influence and go, it, go, it goes against my belief. And then you leave and you lose your power that you had over decision making or whatever. So some it's, I mean, this stuff is not easy, right? So like, uh, you know, the, the feelings I have toward the former president, you know, that's just me from my peasant mind looking up. I don't know his situation. He probably had to choose from worse to worse, you know, like who knows really? Um, yeah, but it's interesting and I love conspiracies.